Hi everybody, my name is Cindy Gellermini and I have lived in New Providence almost my whole life. And my kids grew up here and they went to Saltbrook School and they went to Ellen W. Roberts School and the middle school and the high school. And I used to paint murals and the ones that you see here in the library, I painted these years ago. I also painted a mural in the lobby of Roberts School um, and outside the Providence Bar and Kitchen, outside the restaurant. I kind of have murals all over the place. Another one in the nursery at the Connection and Summit. So you may have seen my stuff. And my newest adventure is my children's book series. And it's called Robbie's World and His Spectrum of Adventures. And these stories were written about my son, Robbie, who had autism. And these books will hopefully teach you in a really fun and funny way about autism. And today I'm going to read you the very first story. And here you can see the cover. There's three books. There's book one, two, and three, and there's 12 stories all together. But I'm going to read you the very first story today. Chapter one. Daycare and the Doctor. Wait, hold on. It, every book starts this way. Robbie is a penguin who likes riding in the car. His mama always says, I love you just the way you are. <clears throat> Chapter one. When Robbie was a baby, he, he learned things a little slow. His mama always thought, oh, he'll catch up one day, I know. Mama liked to hold him when he didn't want to walk. M Robbie was so sweet and quiet, he rarely ever talked. When Robbie went to daycare, other penguins liked to play. But Robbie liked the puddles. He could splash and splash all day. Notice that Robbie's not playing with the other kids. He's much more interested in the water and the puddles. Every morning, all the penguins sat for circle time, but Robbie didn't like to sit. He got up every time. See him up? At snack time, many times, his water bottle made him choke. The other penguins laughed. They thought it was a silly joke. He was the only little penguin who refused to eat his fishies. He didn't like the taste of anything all wet and squishy. Some penguins like to play with trucks and push the cars ahead, but Robbie liked to line up all the cars and trucks instead. See how he's got them all lined up? When teacher said, it's cleanup time, toys go in the bin, Robbie liked to run instead and spin and spin and spin. See Robbie spinning around? Teacher talked to mama and said, Robbie doesn't talk. He likes to flap his flippers and he really likes to rock. He doesn't pay attention and he doesn't play with blocks. I know a special teacher who will love him lots and lots. See Robbie in the rocking chair? He's rocking and rocking. And he's also flapping his flippers in front of his face. Mama picked up Robbie and she kissed him seven times. Mama looked at teacher and said, thank you and goodbye. She fastened Robbie's seatbelt as she put him in the car. She looked at him and said, I love you just the way you are. So basically what just happened there was the teacher was saying to the mama that Robbie isn't really like the other kids. Mommy called the doctor and he said to come on in. Robbie got up on the table and let doctor look at him. Mama, are you giving Robbie all his vitamins? Robbie, open up, say ah, but Robbie only grinned. Robbie didn't really understand what the doctor was telling him to do. Hmm, the doctor said, because it seemed he couldn't hear. Does he speak? The doctor asked and looked in Robbie's ears. 
Robbie didn't like that, so he screamed out loud in fear. But Mama sang his favorite tune and wiped away his tears. Doctor asked more questions. Does he choke? Does he, does he spin? Does he never look at you or answer when you call to him? Does he like to run away and does he never sit still? Mama said, how did you know? Will you give him a pill? Doctor said it's autism and wrote it in his chart. He handed Mama books and said, here's a place to start. He may never speak, he said. Prepare, this will be hard. He won't say, I want juice, or we go bye-bye in the car. He won't look you in the eyes, and he may not know who you are. He may never say, I love you, and this news may break your heart. Mama first stared into space because her mind was very far. But she looked at little Robbie. He was still her little star. Mama picked up Robbie and she kissed him seven times. Mama looked at doctor and said, thank you and goodbye. She didn't really like what the doctor was telling her either. <clears throat> she fastened Robbie's seatbelt as she put him in the car. She looked at him and said, I love you just the way you are. Mama called up Papa when she started up the car. When you get done with work, just come and meet us in the park. Now she's going to have to tell Papa what the doctor said. Then Mama prayed to God to help her find out how to start to be the strongest Mama to the boy who stole her heart. Mama sat and told him all the things the doctor said, while Robbie splashed in puddles and the water splashed his head. He may never be a baseball star or be the president, but God chose us to love a very special boy instead. Papa picked up little Robbie and he put him in the car. He kissed him seven times and said, you're still my little star. Papa looked at Mama and he took her in his arms. Then they said to little Robbie, we love you just the way you are. And that's the end of the very first story. And then at the end of every chapter is called a mom's minute. So that when parents are reading the books to the kids, they can read and find out what just happened in that chapter. And this tells you how autism is diagnosed and is diagnosed by behaviors. And then after that, we go on. And I'll just tell you quickly in chapter two, Mama is the brownie leader at Saltbrook School. And I'll just show you. See, this takes place at Saltbrook School, and here's the brook. Then we go take a ride past the community pool, and we go get ice cream, and we're at Zeta's. The illustrations I kind of made up. I, I made up a pink floor. Zeta's doesn't have a pink floor, but I kind of made it like that. And then here we go to, there's the parade in the center of town. And my girls were the Girl Scouts throwing candy out to everybody at the parade. And the last chapter, Robbie goes to school. And that school is the Developmental Learning Center on Central Avenue, which used to be called Hillview School when I went there. But there's all the buses lined up to go to school. So I'm not going to give the rest away because I'm going to be reading to the kids um, at school coming up this month, and I wanted to, you to just hear the first story and kind of get an idea of what the rest of the stories are about. So I hope you liked my story. And um, all the stories about Robbie the Penguin were based on, on what really happened in real life with my son who grew up here in New Providence. And um, I hope you enjoy that. And the books are going to be, I'm going to dedicate books uh, to the library so that you can come and get them and read the rest whenever you want.